The things I sacrifice to be the star I am today. <laughs> Just joking. Hello my beautiful subscribers, Rasa the Dancer is here and today's topic, well, it's about me <laughs> or any dancer, but mostly about me. I have all of you asking separate different questions, but they lead in all basically one big question is what kind of life dancers usually have and what kind of sacrifices we have to make in order to do what we do. So first of all, let me just say, any profession, if you do it at a very high level, of course, there's going to be sacrifices no matter what profession you do. But I truly believe being a dancer is a very unique thing. And I'm going to break it down and be a little bit honest with you right now. Okay, firstly, one I think one of the biggest sacrifices is time. Um, a lot of people who work 9 to 5, um, well, they work 9 to 5 and that's it. With the dancing, um, you have training, and then you have work, and then you have other kind of work, and it's all dancing. So for example, in order to keep my body in shape, I have to work out. In order for my body to be flexible, then I have to stretch as well, every day. Uh, in order for me to do the classes and teach classes, I have to prepare the classes in order to teach the classes. Then I have to physically teach the classes, then you have the private classes, and then you have whether it's a show, so you have to rehearse for the show. If there is a demo, you have to rehearse for some sort of demo. Then you have to do your social media accounts, you have to, you know, do the any kind of paperwork or whatever, answering emails, blah, blah, blah. And it's just, it's so much. And a lot of dancers work is traveling as well. Again, if you do something on a high level, you will end up needing to travel whether one country or another. So the amount of time it takes away, it becomes a sacrifice because you struggle to build relationships. You start uh, neglecting your friends and family. And to be honest, thank God I myself, um, and that well, I ended up having amazing friends who understand me and they know that they will only see me if they come to my dance event because I don't have the time and of course I could make time but as a dancer you only have so many years that you are viable for the society so you know I am sorry but if you're my friend you will understand I'll always be there in need but just to have fun, I don't have a lot of moments like that. So you end up sacrificing a lot of uh, time um, that you could be spending with finding a partner in life or, or other things. So it becomes very difficult, but that's kind of like a big one for me now that I'm at a particular point in my life where I've done a lot, I established myself a little bit enough to give myself certain moments when I'll be like, I'm not gonna work here. I'm gonna spend this time uh, spending it with somebody I love or creating moments with somebody who is important to me. So now I can make those moments, but there was a time where literally it was just nothing else but workout stretching, workout stretching, and teaching, 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 dancing, dancing, dancing. Now things have changed. So I'm a happy bunny. Okay, second thing that is, um, I guess, very unique for the dancers is injuries. You kinda uh, learn how to live with the fact that you will never be okay. <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's very few people that I know who does dancing on a high level that is not in pain or have not been through pain or has not got chronic pain or has not broken something or, or snapped something and one or the other. So that's definitely something I have to live with every day. I'm very open about my injuries because on my channel, I try to teach people how to do things better. So to learn from my mistakes, because my mistakes were because nobody told me any other way. I didn't have the information that you guys have now on YouTube and stuff. So when I was growing up, so um, yeah, my neck injuries, tooth slipped this in my neck. I have a bad back. Um, I ripped my both legs in three places. 
I snapped my ankle. There's so many things, um, but the point is that if your heart is in it in what you do, you have to work on yourself mentally and um, you learn how to live with these things. It comes with the job. Any job has different things that you have to overcome in terms of physicality of it all. But now these days there's education. So you can actually educate yourself how to prevent injuries, how to be good to yourself and safe. If you hear somebody mowing, it's, it's my cat. I need to open the door. So I guess I made my point. Let me get my cat out. Okay, another thing that I really feel like I sacrificed in my life um, is uh, money. <laughs> Where is my money? I keep asking myself every day. I need to make smarter decisions. Anywho, you come into dancing usually. These days, it's a bit different. You know, young people these days, uh, they come in to the dancing because of fame and, and, you know, all of the Instagram and TikToks and YouTubes and everything, all of that. Um, back in the day, we used to start dancing because of the heart and the soul and the artistic passion that we have and all of the rest. So when I started, I came in because I had to. It was saving my life at a time. It was taking me out of a dark place. So I devoted my life for my artistry, as they say, and I kind of accepted the fact that I will never have money. And then time progressed and I got really, I would say really good at what I do. And uh, suddenly money started coming in, but you know, like a normal person money, like <laughs> lower middle class, not like money, money. And then I was like, ah, maybe I can make money from this. And then, you know, I started searching what opportunities could give me better, better exposures and stuff and slowly slowly you know things start looking up a little bit better but still it's a struggle dancers are not paid so that's a sacrifice i made and now i'm waking up thinking okay surely there's some sort of decisions i can make for myself so that i could make more money <laughs> in terms of dancing leave a comment if you have a job for me that would make more money in terms of dancing somehow opportunity or something, leave a message. I shall respond to you immediately. So that's kind of one, one sacrifice, I guess, you know, when you start thinking, oh, uh, kids getting married um, or this or that. And then you start thinking costs, costs, costs. And the profession you have is like, so yeah, that's a big one. But you know, I, I believe that um, if you educate yourself, I think, and you put yourself in the right places, there are opportunities and I am expo you know, I'm exploring it, but that's definitely one of them. Dances are not paid, including me. Guys, you want me to open up? I opened up and now if you are regular on this channel, or even if you're not, but you want to open up as well, please leave a comment and let me know what was the biggest sacrifice that you had to go through in your career? I would love to read your comments and to see that I'm not on my own and just to see and compare the differences between professions and the sacrifices. So guys, I love you loads. Subscribe if you haven't and I can't wait to read your comments. I'll see you soon. Mwah.